I kind of thought this was going to be a relaxing year and I, then I, this, this project sort of came into my, my, my mind and then it's taken over and it feels like festival time again because I'm as busy as I would have been. After the death of George Floyd, there was a worldwide movement, a worldwide sort of response. So it was around that time when there were so many protests happening, I wanted to do something that showed solidarity with the Black Lives Matter conversation. And I was really keen to give Black, Asian and minority ethnic artists a space. My first point of call was reaching out to venues and galleries and organisations that are currently closed and ask if they would lend their walls and their railings and their front doors for this conversation. I've had such an overwhelmingly positive response from venues and spaces and people. It felt a really poignant thing to, to have the black and Asian minority ethnic voice of artists on the front of all these prominent buildings in the centre of towns. It's been really great because I've managed to connect in with artists that wouldn't even consider themselves artists in some ways and people who just create in their own bedrooms or people who are self-taught and people who are not on the radar of institutions or organisations. We've had everything from kind of self-taught graphic designers to women who are creating art in their rooms but they're nurses during the day to kind of really professional artists who have been displayed in galleries across the country. I get a lot of artists who come to me and ask, so, you know, what's the brief? What do you want me to create? And I'm like, no, where, where are you coming from? What's your experience of being you in Scotland? It's completely been a, a, a very transformative, very kind of wide ranging conversation that's been happening across all the, the artwork. And I'm really excited by that. I'm one of your underdogs, as they call them. <laughs> I didn't really pick up a paintbrush till I, I was in my 50s. When I did pick up that paintbrush, I started expressing how I was feeling. The day when George Floyd was killed, everything changed for me that day. It woke something up in me, as I have come across a, a lot of racism in my life. So my paintings completely changed. This trail, I mean, it's just amazing. I saw Wessie, I found her on Instagram, I sent her a message, I asked if I could participate and yeah, it went from there. I think when I first approached Nasley, she came up with a lot of ideas and she was thinking of how, because it's going to be on a community wall, the message can kind of resonate with the community and one of her inspiration points was the idea of, yeah, we need to just stop, this is like full stop, we need to put a stop to racism. Her image is of a large sun being eclipsed by the moon and the words full stop just written. So it's just, it's quite powerful just as a sort of message of like, come and stand, we need to stop. I haven't used uh, spray paints before, so this is all new to me, but I'm really enjoying it. I think because I felt so passionate about this, it, it was easy to do. I'm really proud, I'm really happy, um, and I, I love what's going on around Scotland at the moment. Hopefully, if everybody gets together, we can make a change. I wish we could get that message out and say, stop, just full stop. And now I'm getting really, ugh, but that's how you start feeling. On a personal level, I spend a lot of time feeling like the only black person in the room. There are people constantly telling me that there are no diverse artists, they put opportunities out there, but they're not there. And it's clearly not true because I'm working with 35 plus artists across the whole country from Inverness to Glasgow. So there are definitely artists out there who are waiting to be heard and who have a voice and who have something to say. The world of artists and people who create things is something that inspires me so much because they create things from nothing and I'm just so proud to be able to be the person who even helps them be seen in any way.